Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how I cut my jeans and if you are familiar with my channel and you know about my $25 thrift challenges then you know that I go every week to Goodwill and thrift and a lot of times I find some really great pairs of jeans that I want to kind of modify and update. If you are not familiar with my channel and you're new here then I'll link those videos down below for you to check out but basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut a pair into shorts and then how to cut a pair kind of at the ankle length just to fray them at the bottom and then maybe we can cut some slits of the knees, kind of distress them a little bit. So yeah, if you guys want to know how to cut jeans, then just keep watching. So really when cutting your jeans, all you need are two things, well, three things. You need a pair of jeans, some scissors, and you need a cheese grater. And if you're wondering at this point, why is she bringing your cheese grater into this? I will explain it very soon. But basically what you do is you find a really great pair of jeans first. And I always like to thrift my jeans because especially if you're new to cutting jeans, you just don't want to spend a lot of money on a pair of jeans that you could possibly mess up just if you're new at it. I like to thrift my jeans anyway because you can find some really great denim and you can really bring them back to life. So I have two pairs of denim right here, one for shorts and then one for a pair of pants that I'm going to distress. And I have a darker pair right here and these are both high-waisted and these ones are going to be the ones I turn just kind of cutting at the bottom. They're skinny jean. I don't know if you can tell, but they're skinny jean. They're the darker wash. And these are a pair of Lee jeans. And then the second pair that I have are a lighter wash. And these are amazing. They are so, so high waisted. They go incredibly over the belly button. So these are really, really flattering and they're going to look so good as shorts. So I'm going to cut these ones into shorts. So I have another great pair of summer shorts. A couple of things I like to keep in mind when I'm searching for denim is first the fit. I like to make sure that whatever denim that that I'm getting fits really really nicely if you don't like them trying them on then you're probably not gonna like them once they're cut and distressed but these ones I thought would be great as shorts because they're one really high-waisted they clinch at the waist but they're not tight around the thighs so these are typically really great pairs for cutting shorts the second thing that I like to look at is the wash of the jean if you don't like the wash then you're not gonna like it distressed that's something that I usually just keep in mind when I'm thrifting and then the last thing that I really think is important is the material of your denim. If it's too much like a legging or too spandexy, it's not going to fray probably as easily as a little bit rougher of a denim. So I usually go by the feel. This one would typically be a rough pair, but it's really nicely worn in. So these are gonna fray really nicely. And then these ones are a little bit more stiff though. So these ones are gonna fray nicely as well. So I'm gonna throw these on so you guys can kind of see what they look like before I distress. And then that way we can do kind of like an after clip as well. So these are the jeans pre-cut, pre-distressed, and they fit really nicely. I really like the back of them. You can see they are pretty high-waisted. They aren't as high as the other pair, but these will work as jeans. But basically, I'm just gonna be cutting the bottoms, and then I'm also gonna be adding some distressing, and I think I might slit the knees as well. And I'm 5'2", so I typically have to cut my jeans anyway just for the length, but these ones are actually pretty cropped already, but I'm gonna to just cut the bottoms because I like the look of a distressed jean. I think it's a little bit more edgy. It's a little bit more casual. So I always like to cut my jeans on a kitchen table just because it's the flattest surface and I just use kitchen scissors. You can use any type of scissors. Just make sure that they are sharp. You do not want to try to cut jeans with dull scissors. But basically, I already know the length of these. I know they hit right at the ankle. So I'm just going to be cutting off this little strip right here but if you are looking to cut your jeans based on length so you need them a little bit shorter you can put them on and you're just gonna roll them to the length that you want and if you are questioning whether it's too short then definitely go a little bit longer than you think and then you can always cut more you just can't add any back so just make sure that whatever you're cutting you are confident in that it's not too short after you roll them you'll just take your jeans off you'll leave them rolled and then when you unroll them you should be able to see a little bit of a crease of where it was rolled and you can cut along there or if you're nervous about them coming unrolled while you're taking them off you can always safety pin them just to make sure that they stay rolled basically what I'm gonna do is since I am only cutting along the ankle if this is really self-explanatory but you just take your scissors and you cut and I wish this was a more complicated part, but this is all you do. Just make sure that you're cutting in a straight line. If you are cutting for length, what I like to do is cut one side and then fold it over. Make sure that everything is really even, but you wanna fold it over so that you know that you're cutting the second leg at the same length as the first one that you cut. So that's just 
a little safety precaution when you are cutting for length. Since I'm not cutting for length, all I had to do was just cut these off and that was really simple. Now, I would not wear these out like this because this looks like I just cut my jeans, which I did. So that's where the cheese grater comes in. If you're wondering why the heck does she have a cheese grater, this was a registry gift and honestly, I have used this more for cutting jeans and distressing than I have for cheese. And this is a vital, crucial part for the whole distressing process. So if you do not have a cheese grater, I really highly suggest just just picking one up because you're gonna use it a lot if you cut jeans a lot there's no scientific way to do this there's no right or wrong and there's really no way to mess it up but you just bunch up the end of your jeans and I always take this super tiny kind of like rigid portion of the cheese grater and you literally just like you're grating some cheese and it looks crazy but I promise you that this is gonna give you the desired effect on your jeans that you would normally pay for. So as you can tell, it's already starting to do it, but you'll take all the fluffies off. But this is how it's starting to wear. And when you wash it, it's gonna look so much better, I promise. You can just keep grading depending on your preference of fray at the bottom. I always love the fray at the bottom, so I'm just gonna keep cheese grating my jeans <laughs> until it looks the way you want it. This is a really simple, easy way to get a very natural looking distressing. Depending on your denim, it's gonna vary how the bottoms and like the pockets and everything will fray. So like I said, this is a rougher pair of denim, but as you can see, it frays just beautifully. I love how this looks so far. So I'm gonna do the other leg. So this is the other side, and as you can see, it's starting to fray really, really nicely. I'm really excited about this pair. These are the two legs that have been distressed and frayed. I think I might do the back pocket and then do the knees. So when you're distressing any part of the jean that isn't the bottom leg, all you have to do is put your hand underneath whatever portion of fabric that you're distressing. Again, take your cheese grater and just go back and forth. And you wanna be careful to make sure that you're not like cheese grating your finger but you do need to do it pretty rough so that you get some type of effect. And as you can see, it just adds in like a little bit of like distressed detail. And again, however much you want it to look distressed, you have complete control over. So you just go at it. So this is kind of what I want the top to look like. I added some, just a little bit of wear onto my jeans. You can kind of see here laid out. Just added a little bit of something. Now I'm going to cut it at the knees. So now you can see that the bottom is distressed and the back pockets are just a little bit. I always do less is more on these, but you can go crazy if you want to. So now we're gonna kind of cut at the knees and you definitely want to wear them when you're cutting at the knee so you know where to actually cut. I have tried to like guess and let me just tell you, just put the jeans back on and cut them properly. So when I'm cutting at the knee, all you have to do is grab where you want it cut and you wanna grab it so that your vertical vertically grabbing it. Does that make sense? That when you cut it, you just have to cut one little hole right here. So I'm just going to grab it, cut a little bit right here. You don't have to cut a lot, just enough to mark your place. And then you're going to go to your other side, cut a little snip just to mark your place. And then you're going to take your jeans back off and do the rest. All right. So now that I've taken them off, you can see I cut a little slit right there and I cut a teeny tiny slit right there. So what you're gonna do is again, lay them flat and you're just gonna take your scissors and you're gonna go in the little slit that you cut and you're just gonna cut to the side, just straight across. And I always like to cut not as far as you think. So I usually like to cut about this and leave about an inch on each side. It's gonna rip as you wear them. And again, less is more, so just always start a little bit more cautious than you would think to go because you can always end up cutting it more if you desire that look. So now I'm just cutting this side. And again, I'm just leaving about an inch on each side. Now we're gonna take the cheese grater again and we're just going to distress the knee area. I have the knee bunched up and I go in with my cheese grater. 
will give you a little bit of an idea. It's starting to fray the way that we want it to. So this is the other knee that I've distressed. I'm gonna throw these back on once again so you can see how they look. So this is actually a pair that I distressed a while ago and I just wanted to show you how the knee is going to wear as you wash it. It's gonna fray a lot more and then this is the bottom of the jeans that I've distressed a while ago and as you can see that they have really worn really nicely. They look honestly just like a pair of Madewell jeans. You would never know that these are Old Navy jeans. So you can do a lot with distressing and then in the back I just did a little bit on the pocket. So these are the jeans with the knees cut and I really like where they cut. I love the way that they're already kind of distressing. Looks really nice. So I'm really excited to get these in the wash. But yeah, so this is how you cut jeans at the ankle and how you distress with the cheese grater. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I cut shorts. So now we're gonna cut the shorts and this is a pair that I've already previously cut. This is my favorite pair. I love the way that these have worn. This is a really good example of the denim that you should look for. You can see it has a lot of the threading in it so that it's really gonna fray. The reason I brought these out is because whenever I cut jeans into shorts, I always go with a example pair for the length just so I can get an idea of is this gonna be too short? Is it gonna be too long? That way you have kind of of an outline to go by. So these jeans are pretty high-waisted, kind of like these actually. So this should be a really good comparison, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold these in half, making sure that everything is completely flat. Then I'm gonna take my stencil example pair and fold them as well and lay them right on top. Make sure that the crotches line up, not the waist. If you have different waist height, it's gonna cut weird. So you wanna make sure that wherever the crotch is is what you're cutting by example. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut where the other shorts hit. Be careful not to cut your shorts that are on top. <laughs> cutting shorts is always more scary than cutting the length. I don't know why it's because you can make such a weird looking pair of shorts if you cut it at the wrong angle or like there's just so many factors to shorts that like I just get so nervous about but basically we're just cutting right along that line so now what you're gonna do is take these off and you're gonna cut right underneath it following the line that you've already cut so now we have a pair of shorts. We're going to try them on to make sure that they're the right length and then we'll start distressing them. So I ended up tying my top just so you could see kind of where the waist hits. My belly button is right here so these are really really high waisted but they are so so comfortable as shorts. When you're cutting shorts you want to make sure that whatever you do you don't cut them too short in the beginning. The reason why is because when you cut shorts you tend to get this and if you like the look of this like going shorter right here then that's great. If you don't however that's why you want to go longer because you can fix that. Always try them on after your first cut. You can always go back and make changes. As far as length goes, these are really close. So I think once I straighten out this side, these are going to be the perfect length. Again, they're like just the perfect pair of shorts. So I'm really, really excited to wear these. These are so, so comfortable. And I know that like once they get distressed and they're more worn in, they're going to look so good. So now that I know that these are a really good length, what I'm going to do is just fix the side. So all you have to do is kind of Hold them like this and then we're just gonna kind of straighten out the sides a little bit so I'm gonna start at the side and just kind of trim away just a little bit it just is really subtle it's okay to have that little dip a little bit but you just don't want it to be really obvious especially as you distress them and as they start fraying you're not gonna notice as much but you just don't want to have like that like that's not that's not great so just do little minor edits to make them a little bit more straight this does not have to be a perfect hair because again it's gonna fray it's gonna distress I actually like when they go up a little bit on the sides you can tell with these they go a little bit higher on the sides so I actually really like that look keep going little by little try them on as many times as you want really just make sure that you are getting the desired look that you want there is no rush at all to this this is totally at your own pace so I like them a little bit shorter in the front than I do in the back and I like them you know a little bit shorter on the sides than I do on the inside so everything is just totally your preference and there's really no wrong way to do this <laughs> this is why you want sharp scissors though because it's gonna make these little detail cuts a lot easier here I am just taking off another half inch and I'm going for it these jeans were like seven dollars we're gonna try them on again 
just to make sure that everything is squared away. But then we can start really distressing and getting into it. So these are the shorts so far. They're a perfect length for me. I love them. I love the way that they fit now. The sides are a lot cleaner, as you can tell. So I feel really good about these. Now I'm gonna start distressing them and kind of turning them into a vintage-y looking pair. As you can see, it's kind of coming undone right there. So I'll probably sew these just to make sure that they don't come undone. Same as before, we're just gonna take the bottom of our shorts, just kind of bunched up like this, and we are just going to run it over the cheese grater. And I can already tell this is such a good pair of denim. Look at the way that it is fraying. So you can already tell like these are a really good pair. Now I'm gonna do some distressing in the pockets. I love distressing the pockets of these, of this type of denim. You can kind of see the white strands starting to come through. I love the look of that. Okay, I think I'm done. So as you can see, we've got the distressing, we've got the holes. These are really great. I'm gonna put them on us so you can see them on. So these are the shorts and they distressed really nicely. Again, all your denim's gonna wash really well and fray more as you wash them. So these are gonna look so good after their first washing, but I love the way that these have frayed. I think they're a great length and yeah, they're just a really comfortable pair of shorts and honestly, for like seven dollars i'm gonna wear these all the time so that's exactly how i cut all of my shorts and jeans if you found this video helpful and you end up using the cheese grater method i would love to know so leave me a comment if you end up trying that but yeah that's exactly how i cut all my thrifted jeans if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you guys back for some more videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>